So the doctor says it's a stomach flu. I'm fine, and I can eat anything I want. Let's find a restaurant. Listen, can we talk business for a minute? Yeah, sure. There are 14 boys in the classroom. So far, I have three possible suspects, one likely. You have a picture. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. OK, here. Yeah. His name is Zach Sullivan. What do you think? Yeah, he's cute. Doesn't anybody eat around here? Listen, he's a dead ringer for crisp. Look. Maybe. Come on, John. I'm hungry. Yes, Mr. Chapman. A table for two. Yeah. Thank you very much. Two hot dogs. Two hot dogs? Mr. Kimball, Mr. Kimball. Dominic. It's him, Mom. Oh, yes. Joyce. Hello, Joyce. Dominic has been such a great help. He's a good kid. Yeah. Hey, who's that? Dominic. Who? Her. Well, that? Uh, that is, uh... I am his sister. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I would never have guessed. Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes you have to excuse my brother. He has no manners at all. Mm. My name is Ursula. It's wonderful to meet you. I'm visiting here from Austria. <gasps> I'm Joyce Palmieri. I work at John's school. Ah. And this is Dominic. Hello, Dominic. Nice to meet you. Ah, it's nice to meet you, too. Uh, would you like to join us for dinner? Uh, uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Yes, of course. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Hi, there'll be four of us. Table 27. Why did you tell you you're my sister? Relax, Butch. The love doctor is here. Come to me. I want to start. OK. I want the ribeye steak with mashed potatoes and the large green salad. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to start with the spicy chicken things. Oh, they're not the tiny bitty ones without meat on them, are they? Actually, it's quite a large serving. Ah, good. Ooh. Good arms. And a large bowl of the clam chowder uh, and the blueberry pie with ice cream for dessert. Yeah. I like how they talk. So, I've been trying to get to know the parents, but some of them are avoiding me. Well, some of the parents are like that. It's a strange town that way, especially with new arrivals. What do you mean? Well, I think a lot of people that come to small towns are trying to get away from something, or they're hiding something. Like what? Well, for example, what brought you here? Uh, me? Uh, what well, there was an opening for a kindergarten teacher. Yeah, but what made you become a kindergarten teacher? I mean, it is a bit unusual. Well, Bob, John is a bit unusual. Well, well, well you, are, you are. I was born in Austria, and my father was a teacher. My mother was a teacher. So is Ursula. Yeah. So we have a tradition in Austria where we follow the footsteps of our parents. So when I moved to this country, I got a job teaching geography and physical education in Arizona. And then I coached basketball at the all-girls school in Rhode Island. But none of it made me really happy. Why weren't you happy? Yeah. Why weren't you happy? <laughs> well... I got tired of teaching teenagers because by the time they came to me, I felt there wasn't much I could do with them. I realized that the real action is in kindergarten. How long have you been teaching kindergarten? It's my second day. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, but it's good. It is good. 